Hey, it's me again. This is a very special day. This is day 756 of my college experience, otherwise known as graduation day! Woo! <gasps> Wait for it. I got the whole outfit. <laughs> the plan is pretty straightforward. One, kick ass in high school so that I can get two, a fatty scholarship. Three, limit my beer pong enough to keep said scholarship. Number four, most importantly, land a sweet job at the finest publishing house in all of LA, Happerman and Browning, where I will no doubt discover the next great American novel. All right, so that's the plan. This is it. Malby signing off, about to embark on the first day of the rest of my life, and hey, if you're at graduation, come say hi. I'll be the one in black. Bye. Welcome to your entertainment ticket, yeticket.com. That's right. Get us at yeticket.com. I'm here with Coach. How you doing, Coach? Fine. Thank you, Al. And the beautiful Miriam. How you doing? Hi. I'm very good. Well, we just saw a wonderful movie called Post Grad. Wow. What a movie. This movie is about uh, uh, Ryden Malby. She graduated from college, and, you know, she's uh, forced to move back to her home because, you know, she's looking for a job, but she couldn't find a job. And the main job she wanted, she couldn't get that. She got beat out by one of her friends from college, a very aggressive young lady. And so things happen while she's at home. And starring in this movie is uh, Alexis Bledel. She plays Ryden. And Zach Guilford. That's Adam Davies. That's her love interest. And Michael Keaton. Well, I haven't seen him around in a long time. I'm what happened? I'm Carol Burnett. That, oh, yeah. Carol Burnett. It was great seeing her, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, the grandma. Oh, yeah. She played the grandma. She had some funny lines. And also, Jane Lynch. I love watching Jane Lynch. You know, she's from Chicago, my hometown, too. And, you know, she actually played a real human being, not a real sex object. And also, J.K. Simmons, uh, one of my great actors that I love watching from television to the movies. Now, post-grad, Miriam, what do you think of this movie? Uh, it had a lot of laughs. I mean, it's a movie mostly, I would, I would say, for uh, teenagers and uh, people in their 30s. Really? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's very real. This is what is really happening today in the, in the job market. You graduate from college, and she graduated pretty high in her class, and it was very hard. She was looking for a job, and uh, she just couldn't find it. I mean, the yeah. valedictorian got it, and if she got it because somebody opened the door for her. So in other words, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Exactly. That's what, how it worked in this film, right? Exactly. That's right. what I would Today, you're getting a job. Today. What do you say? lack in experience, I make up for in vision. And what I don't know, I make up for with passion. I'm driven, full of ideas, I'm upbeat. Most importantly, I'm incredibly enthusiastic about the work your company is doing. Really? Like what? And Coach, what do you think of post-grad? I, I liked it. In fact, uh, that's just what the uh, economy is now. It's tough to get a job being a college graduate. Yeah, right. Everything is lucky. Right, right. Now, uh, Mira mentioned, you know, it's only for maybe young people, but what about parents? Don't you think parents will enjoy this movie, too? Yes, in a way they will because they're going to have their children living at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now, I really enjoyed this movie post-grad. Now, this was directed by uh, uh, Vicki Jensen. Now, Vicki Jensen also did The Shark Tale and Family Tree and, and Shrek. You know, but her background was really at first from the animation department and art, art department. She did a lot of that before she became a full-time director. She really directed this movie very well. But I got to say for this movie... 
the first three quarters of it, I really was enjoying it. But, but unfortunately for the end, the, the final act, it became one of those American closing, everything has to be perfect. What do you think? That's, I agree with you. I agree with you. And what do you think of that, Coach? If you got a job, stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a secret in the movie that we're going to tell you about. Now, how many palm trees are you going to give it? I'd give it uh, two and a half. Oh, two and a half palm trees? Miriam? I'd give it three. Three, three palm trees? Well, you know, I'm going to agree with Miriam. I'm going to give it uh, three palm trees. I'm going to give it an average rating because of the ending. The last last half, the last part of it just really said, oh, this is so typical. Now, this was produced by Ivan Reitman. So, you know his history. You know, he did Gus Busters and other <laughs> stories like that. But lately, you know, he has not done anything different. So, that, I think that's why the ending ended the way it ended. And and also for you parents with these college grads, give them a little break. They don't have a job. Make them look for one, right? Exactly. <laughs> help them. Help them. Don't. Well, yeah, help them too because, uh, you know, they owe a lot of money from going to school, right? Join the military. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that because I'm a veteran myself. Well, this is Al McGee. This is Miriam Notkin. Coach Johnny Notkin. And this is your entertainment ticket, yeticket.com. Postgrad. I don't know. If you're just not getting out of school, watch this movie. You might learn something, how to make it in this world that we have today. Keep watching us every day. And the day after. It is my great honor to welcome you to our college graduation ceremony. Everyone say overpriced education. Tell them about the big interview. Hopperman and Browning Publishing. Wow! It's a ride. I'm riding Malby. I have an interview at 10 o'clock. Have a seat with the rest of the applicants. Why do I want this job? I'm driven, full of ideas, upbeat. Most importantly, I'm incredibly enthusiastic about the work your company is doing. Really? Like what? I totally freaked out. That is the girl that I fell in love with, but harbors platonic feelings for me, unfortunately. Uh, your feet are freezing. Feet are always freezing. I have the feet of an 80-year-old man. Ooh, that's hot. What are you doing? I got into law school. We'll see. Ryden, what about you? Just keeping my options open. So what you're saying is you're unemployed. I have no job, and I live with my parents. How'd it go? I asked the VP if she was pregnant. No. She was just fat. Oh. This is not the way it's supposed to go. You're not supposed to come back when you've already left the nest. No, I don't want your pity hug. Come on. Or no tail screw up. <laughs> Maybe you're setting your sights too high. Where do you think I should be setting my sights? Eye contact. Remember? We talked about it. Ah! Are you staking out the place or what? <laughs> David. Brighton. I'm across the street. You're welcome to come by if you get bored. Tomorrow night, me, you, that dress. We're going to go out to a big, fancy dinner. What you do with your life is just one half of the equation. More important is who you're with when you're doing it. Oh, my god. I completely forgot. For dinner, let me explain. What exactly needs explanation? This song is for someone I care about a lot. Ryden Melby? Do you want to hang out later? I decided to go to Columbia. You're going to New York? This whole post-graduation thing is not turning out the way I planned. The world's a screwy place. It doesn't play by the rules. Do you think I'm making the right decision? Alexis Bledel, star of The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Grad. Cool.